If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question on your own before listening on. What we need to do first is look at the equation that relates the magnetic force to a current carrying wire. Now in this equation, B represents the magnetic field, I is the current that's flowing through the wire, L is the length of the wire, and then the angle theta is between the current and the magnetic field. Sometimes in these questions, you're going to see the phrase per unit length. And in that situation, what you want to do is divide both sides of this equation by the length L. And what that's going to do is cancel the L on the right-hand side of the equation. And then on the left, you're going to end up with a force per unit length. Next, we want to consider a free body diagram of this wire. There is, of course, the downward gravitational force that's labeled as mg. And then in order to keep this wire lifted, there would need to be an upward force acting on it as well. And that turns out to be the magnetic force in this scenario. Now, a curious thing that we can do to these forces is divide them both by the length of the wire. And in this way, we're going to end up with the magnetic force per unit length and also the gravitational force per unit length. Now, Again, in order to lift the wire off the ground, these two forces would have to be equal in magnitude. And so what we're going to do is set the magnetic force per unit length equal to the gravitational force per unit length. And then since the question is asking us to find the direction and magnitude of the magnetic field, we're going to try to solve this equation for B, which represents the magnetic field. And to do that, we'll simply divide both sides of this equation by the term I sine theta. On the left-hand side, that term will end up in the denominator. So it would look something like this. Notice in this equation, we have a term mass divided by length right there. That is exactly what was given to us in the question. We just have to be careful and make sure we convert it into a standard unit. So why don't we do that off on the side here? First, converting the mass, we know that one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams and we line it up in this fashion so that the grams will cancel and then for the length we know that 100 centimeters is present in one meter and that way the centimeters will, will cancel we'll be left with kilograms per meter and in fact that will be 0 0.05 kilograms per meter so this is the value that we're going to be substituting in for the m over l if you prefer you can think of that as 0 0.05 kilograms over one meter. So in that sense, you're going to be plugging in 0 0.05 kilograms for the mass and then one meter for the length. So with that in mind, we'll plug in all the known values. Note that the current was given to us as two amps. The angle is just going to be 90 degrees. Basically in these questions, if they don't give you an angle, you can assume that it's going to be 90 degrees. And then G is the constant 9.8. So here are all the values plugged in, and when you compute that, you get a magnetic field magnitude of 0.245 Tesla. So this would be the correct magnitude. We just have to determine the direction. And to do that, we just need to recall that we drew the magnetic forces pointing straight up. Let's say that the current is pointing to the right, and we're going to call that direction south. Notice that that was given to us in the question. They said that the current was horizontally to the south. Now to get the direction of the magnetic field, you want to point your thumb in the direction of the current. So in our picture, it would be pointing to the right. You want your palm, which is this little hump right here, pointing in the direction of the magnetic force, which in our picture is straight up. And then we can see that your four fingers would be pointing into the computer screen. That's often represented with little X's when a vector is pointing into the computer screen. Remember to hold your hand flat and you should see that your fingers would be pointing into the screen. Now, if to the right is south, that means that into the page is east. And that would be the final direction of this magnetic field. If that's not clear, just remember that to the right, we labeled that as being south. To the left would therefore be north. Coming out of the screen would be west. And that means into the screen would be the easterly direction. If you have any questions about that, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to explain further. But the correct magnitude is 0.245 Tesla, and then the correct direction is east. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel so you could stay tuned for additional videos. Remember to send in your own question to this email address, and I'll do my best to answer it on YouTube.